Hi guys, good morning. Hope you're all enjoying your day so far. Here's an image of Yellowstone Lake at 9.15 a.m. today, June 24th. Over here on the right is Stevenson Island. This image is taken from a camera installed on top of a cell phone tower over there by Fishing Bridge at the northern end of Yellowstone Lake. USGS isn't reporting a lot of the earthquakes. They're small, they're quick, and they're popping. Popping like glass, fracturing, getting the lines going through it. You know, when you take something sharp and hit the glass and then little spider webs of fractures run through, well, that's what's going on right now with Yellowstone. 159 earthquakes in the last week. Basically, the swarm started on the 22nd, which was Tuesday of this week. They're reporting only three so far today, a minus 0 0.1, a 0 0.6, and a minus 0 0.1. They are reporting four earthquakes going up by Dot Island. Let me show you Dot Island. That is where one of the fault lines that I've talked about, the crack at the bottom of Yellowstone Lake, where it is trying to come up as a dike intrusion, but it's being withheld, held down by a cap of rhyolite. And you guys know that rhyolite magma is the worst kind of eruption you could possibly have because it's full of gases and highly explosive. All right, so over here we have Frank Island. We got Dot Island, the largest of these earthquakes, which is right along that fracture zone, that fault zone, is a magnitude one. Point nine, and it was shallow. It was only 1.8 kilometers in depth, so that is only 1.2 miles in depth. I don't know how deep the canyon is in that area, but that would be in the bottom towards where this canyon is at, up over here, which is about 190 feet. I believe it was 2016 they did some research there, scientists, not USGS, some Institute, Woods Institute, I think it was. Um, they went down there and they found out the lake was actually twice as hot as what they thought it was before. The first earthquake I'm going to show you was from yesterday. It was over here by Lake Butte, where the monitor is at. This earthquake was yesterday at 1306. And it comes in as a magnitude 1.53. Let me make this bigger. Harmonic and volcanic earthquakes. The reason I picked this earthquake, yeah, look at that. We got the screw wave. Yeah. Was because it also shows up at the borehole for Norris Geyser Basin, borehole 950. Nothing. Well, we got a little tiny blip right there at Little West Thumb. Let me go there. Yeah, but basically, um, it's only here at these two, and the largest is at Lake Butte. Marked in red is one of these earthquakes that I talked about, how it's popping, breaking like glass at 1605. So this would be at 1105. There's a signature. There is a lot of these earthquakes going on there at the lake, where the ground is just so brittle, it's going pop, 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 pop pop. Just a quick snap. Uh, this comes in as a magnitude 0 0.61. There is another one here marked in red. Let me find it. I think it's right there. Yep, there we go. At 1122. And let's see how big it is. That comes in as a 0 0.83. See that? Yeah, we got a lot of this, but I showed you the two that were in red. Uh, let's see, we got another one in red right there. See? All right. And we got another one. That one's really tiny. Let me go here. We got another one marked in red right there. So that would be 110. Um, PM Central Daylight Time yesterday, and there's its signature.
All right, there's the 18010. So again, 110. Let's bring this down. Oh, went down too far. All right, the next one marked in red. And we'll take a look at its signature. So yesterday at 9.48 p.m. Central Daylight Time, this would have come in as a magnitude 1.45. I'll bring it down so you can see where that's at. Oh, got to bring it down a little bit farther for you. Right there. All right, there's actually several before this one. This one here is at 2... 39 and 40 seconds universal time that would be 9 39 p.m. that comes in as a 1.03 and then we got another one marked in red that is dinky 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 I'm not gonna bother with it dinky 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 all right let's come down here to this one okay this is another incident where the ground just popped broke like glass that's a 0 0.62 maybe you want to see the signatures of these other ones there's that one and those look at that and that one yeah all right and about 2.35 a.m. Central Daylight Time or 7.35 Universal Time. We we're having, um, let's take a look at the signature. Yeah, harmonic tremors. And let's bring this over. There was a series of small earthquakes. At the end of it, there is one marked in red. We got that one there. Yeah, that's harmonic tremors. And then we got that one right there. At about 2.40 a.m., see it also brought up the gases, hot gases, and other chemicals. Yeah, hot magma. And that comes in as a magnitude uh, 1.19. That is marked in red, but USGS is not reporting it. We've got another one marked in red. Yeah, more quick popping of the rock. Let's come down farther and see what else we got. Yeah, nothing else marked in red, but we do have, when I pulled the files, we got this small one right there. At about 9.57 a.m., that is today. See, we got that signature, too. There very well could be a dike intrusion very soon there at Yellowstone Lake. Again, this comes from Lake Butte. We'll go to the signature again. This one here at 14.40 or 9.40 a.m. That comes in as a 0 0.58, and then there's a very small one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... Well, I tried. It's a 0 0.34. And we got another, yeah, long harmonic tremor there. Very long. Uh, we got a little bit bigger one right there. Again, that looks like two earthquakes. Let's look at the spectrogram. Yeah. Okay. A 0 0.87, possibly. I don't know if I can get that second one. It could be a 0 0.65. It might be a lot smaller than that. Little West Thumbs got a lot of them in red, too. Um, a lot that are pop, 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 pop. I'll just see if I can get them here show you the signature look at that where is it at all right right there try and find some of these other ones where are they buried at right there got another one there there's that signature line again and uh, looks like right there possibly there Another one there. Yeah, and it went quiet. Look at that. The sound of the rushing gases in the, in the magma got so loud it couldn't pick it up. It just, yeah, drowned everything out. Got another one there. Now, this was yesterday. And another one. 
That would have been at 4.53 Central Daylight Time, 4 p.m. 2.38 this morning and 5 seconds, 2.38 and 15 seconds. Yeah, there's more. All right, let's bring it over. 238 and 40 seconds, 238 and 50 seconds. See, none of these are being reported. 240 and 35 seconds, 240 and 50 seconds. All marked in red. And then, yeah, this is when I pulled the files. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I would not be surprised if they don't have a dike intrusion there at the lake like they have going on there in Hawaii. It would not surprise me one bit. Yeah, we got a lot of activity there. This one is marked in red. 1340 Universal Time. So that would be 840 AM today. And of course, they're not reporting it. Yeah, look at that. Wow. That's um, volcanic and tectonic tremors. Now, this is the Norris Geyser Basin area. Not as much magmas coming up in the system. They're just having lots of earthquakes. Fort, Fort, 1442, 9.42 a.m. We got another one here. Uh, 9.45, 9.52, 9.56. Yeah, look at it all. They're not reporting that. And they're, this one, which... Um, 931, which I believe was on the other side also. So we got 1431 Universal Time. Now it shows up at the Promontory, but not at Little West Thumb. That's interesting. So this one at 1442 shows up at the Borehole um, for Norris Geyser Basin and at the Promontory. It doesn't surprise me they show up at the Promontory because that's where the crack is. And they don't show up at Yellowstone Lake. See, and this earthquake also shows up at the borehole. Borehole 950 at the Norris Geyser Basin. 1458 and 00, zero seconds. Yeah, same thing at the Promontory. Yeah, Lake Butte, actually. It has settled down a little bit, but we're getting a lot of that popping, the cracking, the breaking of the ground. I would not be one bit surprised if they don't have a dike intrusion there at the lake. Um, they have had swarms before. Um, so we'll just have to keep on watching. Yeah, this view is at 10.05 Mountain Time, um, which would have been 11.05 um, Central Daylight Time. It's currently 11.31 a.m. Central Daylight Time. So that's my latest assessment. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. What are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.